Hi guys, it's Jenna Bray again, and I wanted just wanted to jump back in here and say congrats because you have finished prep week and you are ready to jump into the challenge group. So tomorrow's the big day, and I hope you're just as excited as I am to get going on your 30-day journey of living a healthy lifestyle. So um, today, though, I did want to talk about probably the hardest part of the challenge group, which is cheating and um, trying to understand what living a healthy lifestyle is all about. So, so cheating, I know it happens. I know, you know, it's part of life. It's part of, you know, what we, um, as coaches, you know, if, if, if it was, if staying on track and eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle was easy, we wouldn't even ha we wouldn't be here today. And these, these groups wouldn't exist because we would all just know how to eat right and we would all be skinny and healthy, right? So, but of course, cheating ha or eating unhealthy happens and there's temptations out there in the world that happen. Um, so I'm just here today to talk about how to reduce cheating, you know, those cheats and to understand how to choose those healthier options. So, um, you know, we give you a full meal plan and, you know, in that meal plan, you are allowed so many carbs per day um, and so many um, natural sugars that can help with those carb curbed appetite. So um, we also give you a nutrient shake that, you know, like I drink my um, chocolate vegan shake every day that helps curb those chocolate cravings. So, you know, choosing to follow the meal plan to a T will help you reduce those cravings for wanting to cheat. Um, so along with staying with the meal plan is, um, you know, we have 30 days of this challenge group. That's only one month. Um, you have goals. You have a vacation you want to go on. You have, um, you know, a swimsuit you want to fit into. Maybe it's that you join this group because you are, you know, just wanting to learn how to choose healthier options for your family. This is it, guys. This is the next 30 days. That's how you're going to learn how to do it. So, um, you know, cheating shouldn't even be on your mind. I really shouldn't even be making this video, but um, it's going to happen. You're going to go to dinner and your friend next to you is going to order that big, greasy uh, pizza that you wanted and that you've been, you know, didn't have last week. Um, and you're going to want it. But, you know, cho learning to choose healthier options um, can, um, can, you know, totally help you stay on track. So, um, you know, I would advise to eat something before you go to dinner so that you're not craving, you know, that pizza that you want. Or, you know, have your shake before you go to dinner so that, you know, you know that a salad would be fine and would fill you up completely. So um, I'm not saying that eating salads is the way to go, but, um, you know, maybe choosing the, you know, making sure that you save those carbs because we are allowed so many carbs or so many um, items in our meal plan that, you know, saving those extra carbs for dinner that night if you choose to, you know, pick um, something that had um, bread or something in it. So um, again, it's just the way how you look at the plan. Um, so um, along with that as well, um, you know, making sure that you're following your meal plan to a T. So, um, you know, if you're filling up every day with all of your containers, you're not going to crave that pizza at once it comes to dinner and you're going out to dinner with your friends. So learning how to um, plan your day accordingly is going to help tremendously, as well as meal prepping. So meal prepping is making sure that you're prepared for the week so that you have grocery stocked in your fridge. You've got fresh fruits and veggies so that you know, you know, if you were, you're feeling that snacking urge um, to go in there and grab some carrots or grab something that's, you know, um, a little healthier option. Um, or even for dinner, you know, it's late at night. You've just got off home from work. Um, so making sure that you are fully prepared for this month, every, every Sunday or whatever day you choose to go grocery shopping and do your grocery haul for that week, you should make sure that you're, you know, fulfilling that, um, that your fridge is going to be full and you're, you have every single meal plan. You know, planning is key. Planning to not follow off, fall off track is key so that you're going to have less temptations to do the, make those cheats. So, um. And again, you know, this is 30 days, guys. Give it your all. Like, we shouldn't even have to talk about cheating because you invested in yourself. You spent, you know, so much dollar, so much money to join this group that, you know, cheating shouldn't be an option. You should want this bad enough that you want to do this for yourself. Um, and you're going to see the best results for the rest of your life. 
And I have Kenichi. Sure, it happens. You know, there's going to be an occasion. It's going to be your birthday. It's going to be a wedding. You know, I know summer's coming up. Um, cheatings are going to happen. That's totally fine, too. Um, I'm not saying that cheating can't happen. Um, and don't be afraid of cheating. So um, there's a difference. So, um, you know, say there is a special occasion and you decide, you know, it, it is my fuck. This summer is my five-year anniversary, so my husband and I will be married for five years here this July 21st. Are we going to have a, a night out together? Yes. Are we going to drink wine? Yes. Are we going to probably go to our favorite restaurant and have dessert and strawberries with chocolate covered? Yes. Um, I love all those things. Don't get me wrong. Um, so we will plan around that, and yes, we are going to do that. Whatever we choose to do, we haven't decided yet we're, what we're going to do or if we're going to go somewhere, but um, it happens. Cheating is going to happen, but you know what? After that night and after I enjoyed myself, I'm going to get back on the wagon, and I'm going to post in the group saying, you know what? We went out to dinner that night. We had a great time. I wasn't guilty about it because I worked so hard leading up to that day that I was. it was okay to cheat, and the next day I'm going to jump back in there and look at all you guys and say, you know what? I had a great night. And I am back on the wagon today, and we are, I'm drinking my shake. I got my workout in, and I am ready to go for the week. So, um, you know, not falling off track completely um, is huge, and sticking to it is huge. And don't think that your coaches won't notice, because as soon as we notice that you aren't posting in here, um, you know, that's when you're, we're going to reach back out to you and say, you know, hey, um, you know, noticed you haven't been in here for a while, and I saw, you know, you know, did something happen? Did you know? We want to make sure that things are going okay with you. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to post in here that you have cheated because that's where you're going to get the encouragement to get back on the track. And we're here to help you and we're here to support you. So it's going to happen. And girls' nights are going to happen. You know, and I love my girl, girls' nights. I love my wine nights. So, um, you know, yes, cheats happen, but it's more about how you um, get up the next day and get back on the wagon and you jump back in the group and start again. So... Um, you know, again, though, um, you know, choosing healthier, healthier options is definitely the key, though. So, um, you know, if um, my family and I actually had a little family day, which we don't get very often because my husband and I have opposite schedules, but we chose to go to Country Burger, our favorite place in the world, to eat a nice, greasy, yummy cheeseburger. They have the best burgers and milkshakes. Um, did I get a milkshake? No. Did I have a sip of my kid's milkshake? Yes. Did I have a hamburger? No, I chose not to. Um, and I chose the salad, but I did have a couple bites of french fries. So it's moderation. It's all about moderation and making sure that, you know, you're, um, you're living a healthy, balanced life. So um, pizza nights are going to happen. Um, but again, it's about jumping back on the wagon and not making it happen more than um, several times in the month and then um, getting back on track the next day. So I hope this helped. Um, you know, again, if you have any further questions, comment below. I'd be happy to start or answer those questions. We are starting tomorrow, so get ready, get pumped, get ready to rock whatever program you're going to do, and hope you're meal prepping today. Show me those meal preps. Um, we look forward to seeing all your posts, and let's, let's make it a great month, guys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.